What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, I got some things to fix on the hatch. Quick update before we start doing what I'm doing with the car today or tonight. Uh, I did pick up a Jay's axle back. Uh, it was from my friend. He was parting out his EF hatch. So I was like, I might as well help you out and buy this exhaust. We're just gonna slap this back on and see how much louder the car is. Uh, before I was running this exhaust, when I first got the car running, I was running a full two and a half all the way back with no resonators. Actually, no, with one resonator, but with a full test pipe. But now I'm running a catalytic converter with a resonator to my secret axle back. So we're going to put this on and see how much louder it is on this. And I do, uh, I'm always a fan of burnt tip exhausts. Same as a secret exhaust on my car. We also did pick this up. These are from our brother's sedan. We picked up these from Dwayne. They are Avan RZs. 16x8, 4x100, uh, 38 offset. So it's pretty nice size and... Um, I'm currently running 7s on his car, but the 8s will be a lot nicer with the 225-45s. And these are actually, I think, as light as the SSRs on his car right now. These were a brand new in-box. We just opened them. Um, let me I just opened them just to install the valve stems. These are what they look like. These aren't the RZ2s. These are the RZ1, so the spokes are slightly different. Pretty nice wheel. Interesting color. I like how deep the hub is. And they did come with blue valve stems and valve caps. So I put those on, and I think my brother's going to mount the tires on from the SSRs to these Advance tomorrow. So he's going to swap them out. Uh, and at first, I wasn't too sure about how I feel about the wheels, but seeing them in person is actually a lot nicer than see them in a photo especially the finish is pretty cool finish another update i did get the hood color sanded well not color sanded i got the hood wet sanded and ceramic coated there are still scratches inside of it but that is because this is the old hood and there are some deep scratches in the hood it's not a perfect hood but it looks way better than before you can kind of see that scratch right there but it is what it is i can't complain for the price i paid for the hood so Victor from Exclusive 1904, Exclusive Detailing, hooked it up for sure. Now we're running a full spoon catalog-ish. Eh. What we are doing today is, you guys can kind of see how this out. Um, this is my old setup. Well, I'm still running the hybrid shifter. This is just the other um, extension for the shifter. With the Battlecraft Chronicles, Sticky Deal, Joe, whatever. Um, Shift knob collab for year 10. So I do have this. And got the mark from Hunter Street Garage shift knob right here. Just chilling. Focus. There we go. And Hybrid Racing did release on Black Friday their titanium stuff. This is their titanium. Um, rod with a titanium maximum shift knob which is really nice it's not a full titanium um what is it called finish it's like a burnt or like a satin it's hard to explain so it says hybrid racing on that end the other end has uh, oops there you go ti which is cool so that's on my car Does kind of match my titanium um, steerable bolts. Um, now for this, okay, so this is what we're working on today. I don't know if you guys can see, but this car right now is actually in fourth gear. So check it out. This is neutral. You guys see how how lean forward it is, and then this is gonna be third gear right here. Oop, that's third gear. You guys kind of see that. My linkage, it's pulling, or it's too long, so it's pushing it forward, or it's pushing it too back, so it's having that tilt to it. And then this is fourth gear, so fourth gear is where uh, neutral should be at, and it's I believe it's because I have um, what's it called the innovative uh, shift linkage. So the innovative shift linkage that I got, I think they sent me the wrong one a while ago, so I haven't really like bothered fixing this issue because it's just. The car is fine. It goes into all gear smoothly, perfect reverse and everything. 
but I guess I was like, dude, I might as well swap it out now because I think the solid bushings on the linkage kind of, I think they kind of gave out. Well, not really gave out. I think I just need to like grease them up or put some oil on them because you guys could probably hear this. You guys hear that? I don't know. You can kind of hear it's creaking, and that's I, th I think that's because of the um, the bushing on the um, the shift linkage. So it's it's a full solid bushing. So I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna be replacing it with this right here. This is a, a B16 shift linkage. Here's the part numbers uh, for anyone. 54201 SL4G10. You can still buy these new. And the one issue with these is there's a lot of slot because of the U joint. But uh, Honda only sells them with the whole linkage because these are, uh, they're like riveted on or I don't know, explain it. So this won't have any slot because this is a brand new linkage. And yeah, so I'm gonna slap that on real quick. So we're gonna jack up the car. Take out the bitch pin. Um, the bitch pin is right here. If you guys wonder what, what the bitch pin is, because it's a bitch to get out. Hopefully my shifter centers again. I know people say the B series linkages are all the same, but when I cross reference all the part numbers at my work, they don't line up at all. The B16, A2 linkage is completely different from like a C5, and I think an LS is completely different. I guess. Uh, if you have a B series and EK, you kind of need to be 16 shift linkage. Hopefully that fixes the issue. So let's jack this thing up, crawl underneath. Should be pretty easy. Take off that bitch pin and uh, take out the little 10 or whatever that's on mine. And hopefully that uh, linkage or that shifter is centered. Got the car jacked up out of the hood pop. So with my garage lights, I'll shine down so I can see underneath. But I also do have the snap on light, which is extremely bright and this little guy. All right, so. All right, we're gonna take this off. You guys can kind of see that I had to cut this portion off because it wouldn't clear the shifter. Um, hopefully I don't have to do that on the B16 one. I think I might have to, but yep, here's the hybrid shifter. For those of you guys wondering, it is a spherical bearing underneath there. And I am still running the OEM bushings. And this shifter from Hybrid is super solid. So we are going to be taking this off. Right here. What I'm going to do is drop this out, take off the linkage, and then hit out the bitch pin. That's one reason why I like using this shift linkage because you could use this and you don't always have to take out the pin. All you have to do is take out these two 12 mils and or this Allen head and this 12 mil and then the whole linkage will drop. That's reason, one reason why I went with the um, innovative linkage, but it doesn't line up properly, so I need to take it off. Hmm. I'm trying to diagnose where the sound's coming from. Interesting. It's hard to say. I think it's come from that end. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna take this thing out. So I take out the boat off the bottom of the shifter. Uh, I left it in there. This is loose. Uh, quick tip too. You guys can see this little nut. You see how it's not completely circle. These are like um, they're pretty much like the lock, the locking lug, or not locking lug, it's locking nuts. Instead of using a lock washer, you can use this. This is a uh, I forgot what it's from. It's for the exhaust, but you can see how it's like a triangle. So as you're tightening it, it stays tightened, so it won't come loose on its own. This is one of the main reasons why I did the innovative linkage. It's a lot easier to remove. So instead of taking off the pin on there, you can just take this bolt out. Well, I just have it there for reference, and it comes right out. And then you can see that it uses a solid bushing there, and then a solid uh, bushing here, which is kind of stuck in there. And now I can just take that bolt out. And be careful the washers don't lose them, and then the linkage come right out. So just like that. There we go. 
Oh, there goes the washers. Just like that. Now I gotta take out. Oh. Take out the other one, and then uh, put it together and see if the length's any different from the B16 one. The end of it shift linkage is out, and I did my best to line them up perfectly. So we're talking about from here, these two holes. Oh, actually, let's not let's go back a little bit. There we go. And then you can kind of see that um, they're slightly, um, innovative ones are slightly longer. And if I go back, I try to match the bends. And right here, you can see where the linkage goes, where the bolt goes, or where the bolt uh, goes on the shifter, slightly longer on this one. That's one reason why. This innovative linkage is making my thing uh, all angled, all weird. And this right here, these two um, circles are lined up perfectly. It's literally just this. I don't know if, like I said, I ran the part numbers at Honda and it shows that they're completely different between the ITR, because I bought this one for my C5 setup and the part numbers on the linkages don't reference or they don't cross reference. What that means is when I run the part number in Honda from Acura, Sometimes the parameters will reference or cross-reference with another car. Um, I don't know how I explain that, but yeah, so um, that explains why it's not straight. So I guess I'm not saying, well, I'm not too positive the Integra ones are shorter or longer because the chassis is, you know, is different on an EK. And that's one reason why probably my linkage was sitting like that. So I'm going to pop this in. Ah, uh, shoot, I think I have to cut this off. Do I? Damn, I think I'm going to have to cut that out. Also, for those of you guys that own Integras, um, I go to Honda and buy your parts. A lot of the motor parts are the same, but if you're buying like a bumper or fenders, Honda doesn't sell them. You have to go to Acura. Um, a lot of the part numbers, they do cross-reference on the motor setups, like a B16 and B18 um, and all that. So. Just a heads up, some things you can't get from Honda. I know an Acura motor or B18 C5, whatever, is a Honda motor, but only Acura sells certain parts for that um, setup or chassis because um, Honda and Acura in the U.S. are divided. Before I put this on, um, a lot of shifter slop is due because of this U-joint right here. On the, factory, on the factory ones, you can't replace them, but on this, dude, this thing is solid. This thing's like brand new. I mean, it is brand new, what am I saying? But it feels super nice. And this too. The reason why you want to use washers if you need it is because if this kinks in and it warps this or is, it, this isn't flat anymore because the your nut that you're using, this will cause a lot of slop. A lot of people don't understand or don't, um, a lot of people don't get that with this portion being bent, it will cause a lot of shifter slop. So make sure you don't bend this. If it, the shifter is loose in there, put two washers or a washer, space it out evenly, and then bolt it down because this right here causes so much slop. You guys can kind of see that I chopped this off. Um, I, tried the, I tried the linkage on with the shifter. It actually doesn't hit this compared to my old uh, setups. I think the reason why I cut it was because it was hitting my fast line shifter, my race line shifter. And then this right here, the only reason why I cut this off is because it was hitting my resonator um, on my secret cap back. So I had to cut this off because it was going to bump into my resonator and it will probably get stuck. And I decided to hit it with some uh, spray paint real quick just so uh, it could cover up all the, you know, the raw uh, metal so it doesn't rust. And now I'm going to put it back in and uh, we should have a good solid running shifter uh, once again. Well... I already did, but this was just, it was pivoted weird. So the new linkage is in. I had to cut this because if I uh, didn't cut this portion, uh, can you see it? If I didn't cut that portion, it's going to hit the resonator. And you got the bitch pin in there, and uh, I'll tie it up. Now to, uh, now to drop the cart on the ground, and, uh, oh. That looks centered right there, so let me drop the car down and uh, see where the shifter now sits at with the correct linkage. 
All right, so it is actually the next morning. The battery died on this camera. I forgot how bad the battery life is on the Sony. Uh, so there's a little linkage. Now we're actually gonna, or I'm gonna show you how much different it is compared to my um, innovative linkage. All right, so, oh, you can see the finish now compared to last night. Super nice. So this is fourth gear, neutral third so um there's not that much of a difference but i could i could uh see it's hard to show on video but now it's uh it's in the, the correct spot so if i wanted to run a different shifter it'd be perfectly fine and not gonna lie this oem shift linkage feels really nice i'm running all oem bushings right now no solid bushings nothing um so just oem shift stabilizer bushings and the oem u-joint now so yeah, back to normal. Okay. Um, now, since it actually is the next day, the Avans are missing because my brother actually went to go get the tires found on them. I let him use my 215-45 as Zennies and then we're going to get rid of the R88Rs on his car. So we're just going to run Falcons on his uh, white sedan. So I'm just waiting for him to come back right now, and I can show you guys what the new RZs look like on his car. But in the meantime, I think I might have to lower the rear on this car, because I did lower the fronts a little bit more. And I don't believe it's even. Uh, actually, yeah, I, have, I probably have to lower the rears a little bit. But I've been driving the car at this high end, guys, it's perfectly fine. I just scraped my lip more. But underneath the whole car, I don't scrape the undercarriage at all because this car's on 16th. If the car's on a 15th at this height, it will scrape the undercarriage. It is on 16th, it gives you higher ground clearance, which is one reason why I wanted to keep 16th on this car so I don't scrape underneath. These are the old tires, the 225-45 16s. These are for sale now, along with these. There is some cleaning. SSR Type C's or Type Competitions. I like them. I like them. Yeah, I like, I like that, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Put it on the car first. They just need some tire shine, but, um... Pretty nice. This is Advan's, uh, bronze. Or take at bronze. Pretty nice. Now... Uh, put them on. Oh my god. Oh yeah, because it's been raining. Time to go. Now for a little try. Doesn't look that bad. I don't think it's going to rub anymore. It won't rub. Let's roll. 